Most actors in movies or television start their careers playing small parts or even as extras. And as extras, they're always hopeful of being discovered and very often they'll do just about anything to attract attention. Now, in the following dramatic vignettes, notice how the extras in the background manage to steal the scene without a single word. <laughs> I'm glad you could meet me, Miss Ames. It's really very important. Yes, I gathered that when you called me. You see, something has to be done about your kid sister. Oh, I know. We're having an awful lot of trouble with her at home. And so are the authorities. You know, she's been down to juvenile court six times in the past month. Oh, I know. We've done everything it's possible for us to do, but she just won't listen to us. Well, that's why I asked you to meet me. You see, we've got to find some way to straighten her out, to instill a sense of responsibility. Have you tried uh, getting her a job? Oh, yes, lots of times, but she never even shows up for the interviews. Uh-huh. Well, maybe I can find her something. Oh, do you think you could? It'd make all of us very happy. Well, I can certainly try. I'll tell you, have her down to my office tomorrow morning so that I can talk to her personally. Oh, thank you. We'll be ever so grateful. Well, I hope, uh, I hope it works out. Oh, so do I. Remember a case like this I had about three months ago? Very Her name was Sugar. And everything worked out. It took a little time, but... It seems they always listen to somebody who's not in the family more than they do. You sent for me, Mr. Barnes? Oh, yes, Osborne. Osborne, I'm afraid this is going to come as a bit of a shock. <laughs> oh, please, sir, don't fire me. I have no choice, Osborne. You see, we have a lot of young men coming up in the business, and we have to think of the future, our executives of tomorrow. Well, sir, if you can't, if you can't think about me and my 35 years of loyalty to the company, <laughs> I'm trying to consider my family, my, my, my devoted wife, and my three lovely children. I'm sorry, Osborne. The decision's already been made. Now, of course, you'll get severance pay, but we'll expect you to clear out your desk and be out of the office by close of business Friday. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to break this news to my family. <laughs> Miss Fesco, you can go to lunch now. 